right, boys. So I am back on Roblox Blocks Fruits. And in the last video, I unlocked one of the coolest fruits that I didn't even know was super cool. And that fruit was the Control Fruit. But in this video, me and the Goobers are going to be unlocking a fruit that might even be cooler than the Control Fruit that we unlocked in the last video. You gotta be kidding me. And that fruit is the Spirit Fruit. And if you didn't know, this Spirit Fruit was one of the only fruits in Blocks Fruits to not get a model update in the most recent Blocks Fruit update so in this upcoming update this spirit fruit might get even more overpowered look one of the goobers is mewied right now <laughs> but all right let's go ahead and start this journey and start unlocking my spirit fruit let's eat this fruit and there we go we now have the evil side and the light side and as you can see i have mastery 64 on this fruit so that means i only have one move unlocked but in this video i'm gonna get this fruit all the way to mastery 350 and unlock the end of times move but all right, before I go ahead and start unlocking all of these different fruits, let's see what the Blocks Fruits gotcha can give me. Usually, he does not give me very good luck. All right, bye. Come on, give me something good. Oh, yo, we actually got the life fruit. Yeah, that's actually kind of fire. You know, I'm going to go ahead and give it to whichever one of the goobers uh, can unlock or can can grab this fruit the quickest. All right, who's going to get it? Oh, he got it first. Oh, the guy that was mewing. I said, I hope he didn't break your mewing streak to get the fruit. Okay, good. He's still mewing. Okay, awesome. But all right, let's go ahead and see what our first move actually does. It's called Frostfire Grass. The user mounts on an angel buddy and flies towards the position of their cursor. Then the user summons in an ice block that damages and stuns people. Hmm, I, I want to see what this looks like. Uh, we'll, we'll test it out of this boss over here. All right, goobers, follow me. We're going to start leveling up this fruit. And uh, actually, the boss has not spawned in yet. So let me go ahead and uh, respawn bosses. All right, boom, there we go. And all right, let's see what this first move looks like. All right, let's see. Okay, let's see. All right, we're gonna dash towards it. Okay, yeah, and then it puts him inside of an ice block. That's sick. Wait, how much damage did that do? I'm not gonna lie. I, I completely forgot to look at how much damage it did. All right, let's see how much damage this does. Okay, so we can charge it up. Okay, 3,700. Yo, that's actually insane. That's actually a lot of damage for just our Z move, our mastery number one move. Ah! Bro, just put me inside of a freaking tornado, bro. All right, you know what? I'm not gonna take that disrespect. Goobers, kill him. All right, let's see. Okay, we trapped him in ice again. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Somebody else, I think might have the spirit fruit too i think that's one of the spirit fruit moves oh yo that's gonna be sick when we unlock that later in this video or wait did i spawn that in wait whoa i can click okay hold on i did not know that i could click i could click and spawn in like little buddies what is that wait hold on i might need to check the wiki and see what is going on because i actually have no idea oh yo this dude's almost dead you're dead buddy get out of here bop there we go and we got a new skill unlocked but okay hold on i need to see what the heck just happened bro all right the tap move summons heavenly buddies if the bar is blue and hellish buddies if the bar is on the red oh that's crazy how did i not know that so wait, if i click now it'll spawn in a hellish buddy that's a hellish buddy and then that's a heavenly buddy that's a hellish buddy so the heavenly buddies look like little stars or like a little fly it's a fly pig all right that's actually so cool i did not know that it did that but look we now have our second move unlocked all right. Oh, wait, hold on. I just realized that these glow in the dark. Oh, that's cool. Yo, this is actually so sick, bro. It actually looks insane at night. It looks even cooler in the nighttime. But okay, let's see what this sky ruler move does according to the wiki. Okay, so it shows some videos. It looks like it's like a fly move. Oh, you can fly on top of one of your buddies. That's sick. So wait, if I spawn in, let's say I want to I want to fly on this guy. If I spawn in that and then I use sky ruler. Oh, wait, what? Wait, wait hold on. Let's see. I spawned in, I spawned in two of these guys so it should make me okay yeah there we go now i can fly on top of my evil buddy dude that's sick okay and you know what we're just gonna fly to our next boss and start unlocking some more of these moves and i'm not i'm not gonna lie i don't think this move uh it really is that useful you know the other moves were pretty cool but uh this move was it's probably not gonna be very useful when fighting other goobers in this game but okay let's head to the next boss which is the beautiful pirate wait i wonder if we can kill this boss with just the spirits all right let's see i'm just gonna start placing spirits around where the boss is all right Spirit there, spirit there. Oh, I'm doing damage. I'm doing damage. I'm actually doing damage, dude. No way. Okay, I'm putting one there. Wait, where is it? They keep hitting the boss like further away. Bro, look at all my spirits everywhere. There's <laughs> just a bunch of frogs. I'll right, start combo wombling her up. But you know what? We're getting a little bit low too, so let's get some more of our health back with our sanguine art style. I'm gonna start spawning these things everywhere. Okay, I'm just gonna spawn them and run around her in a circle. I just keep running. How much damage can we actually do, dude? We're doing so much damage. Oh my gosh wait yeah come, come walk through all of my buddies yo 
we're doing a bunch of damage literally just by running around all right and now she's gonna walk towards me so i'm just gonna spawn in a bunch of these guys and just start walking away will, will it do damage will it do damage okay i'm just gonna walk over here come on please please can we kill this boss with just my buddies we've already done 2000 wait no 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 way she wait how low is she she's so low oh my gosh come on we have we have to we have to kill her we have to kill her with these bosses come on come on buddies you've got this kill the beautiful pirate wait Hold on, I'm just now realizing something. The curse spirits are the ones that do damage. Okay, so if I want to do damage to the pirate, I have to spawn in only curse spirits. And there we go! Bro, the frog just ate her! <laughs> Dude, that's sick! Okay, all right, I'm learning more and more as I go. This is actually very useful information that I'm getting right here. Wait, let me check the wiki, because I realized that the curse spirits do damage, but what do the light spirits do? Okay, yeah, the star heals you every two to five seconds, and the pig gives you a temporary speed boost oh that's crazy all right the mushroom sprouts out poisonous gas the toad pulls players in with this tongue and pretty much eats them and then the cursed tree summons roots that stuns nearby enemies yo this fruit's actually crazy dude this fruit's actually really cool well, why are they farting over there bro what are you doing oh and they just farted on me again okay i'm going to the next boss i'm not, I'm not gonna deal with this all right, I'm gonna kill this boss really quickly because I want to see what this next move that we're gonna unlock is gonna look like. And I kind of have this strategy of using this fighting style and then just healing myself whenever it does damage. I'm not gonna lie, it's a pretty overpowered strategy. It's almost like having Buddha. All right, let's hit him with this move right there. And then we'll spawn in some cursed spirits to uh, just absolutely do some damage for me. Look at all the cursed spirits, bro. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude, we just made a forest. We just made a freaking forest. That's insane. Oh, wait, they killed <laughs> They killed the boss! <laughs> nah, these... No, these, these spirits are actually overpowered. That's insane. Wait a second. I just realized that I have my next move unlocked called Wrath of Ra. Yo, so you're telling me I could have used that move this whole time. You know, I actually didn't even need to use it because uh, my little spirits just destroyed that boss. But all right, let's go ahead and start making our way to the next boss so we can continue to level up our fruit. All right, let's go ahead and spawn ourselves in a boat so we can head over and fight the Cake Queen, aka Mango Pool's girlfriend. And while we're on our way to that, I want to see what my next move, the Wrath of Ra, does. Oh, that looks insane, bro. What is that? All right, it says the Uter sends a demon buddy to the position of the cursor. You can hold down this item to make it reach further. Ooh, that's good to know. And the demon buddy explodes into a pillar of fire, damaging enemies and launching four fiery balls into the air. Okay, that's actually really good to know. Oh, wait, well, we we've arrived. We've arrived to fight the Kate Queen. And all right, let's see what our first move looks like, the Wrath of Ra. Oh, my gosh. 5,000, 6,000 damage? Dude, that's actually insane, dude. <laughs> and you know what? I'm not even gonna like worry about like getting like you know hitting the boss anymore i'm just gonna keep spawning in these cursed spirits and they're just gonna take care of this boss for me i'm not even hitting them and i've done 10,000 damage so far this might be one of the best grinding fruits in the game look it literally just gets the cake queen stuck in place 17,000 damage oh my gosh bro that's insane all right come on come on yes <laughs> yo let's go oh my gosh no this might be one of my favorite fruits but okay sadly we actually did not unlock lock a move that time uh we still just need to kill it looks like dude they're farting on me again i think we just need to kill one more boss and we should get this wrath of shoe move so let's go ahead and move on to the next boss and let's see if we can unlock this move by killing one more boss all right so we arrived to the next boss and let's just start spamming these bosses and see what happens again all right i think if i actually bring the hydra inside this building and i just start spamming all of these different uh spirits i should be able to kill this island empress with just spirits dude this is gonna be insane this is gonna be actually insane wait the empress is actually so low right now the empress is actually getting so low come on you got this tree you've got this frog all right i think i just finished off with that move and there we go we have our new skill and i actually want to see what this move does before i actually try to use it hey yo what the heck a fruit just spawned in the game all right we're gonna head towards this fruit really quick and see what this is maybe it's the shadow fruit or the gravity fruit because those are the only two mythical fruits that i haven't unlocked yet which by the way hit subscribe if you want to see me unlock those next all right, let's go ahead and fly towards the fruit. Let's see what it is. Oh, there it is. It looks like it's blue. And it's... Yo, is that Quake? Yo, that's actually sick. All right, but let me go ahead and store this fruit. And let's start grinding for this final spirit move called End of Time. All right, but I have now arrived to fight my final boss. Because I have my mastery all the way to 349, which means we only need one more level. Let's head to the back of the island and challenge this last boss. All right, so the Wrath of Shubu should be the one 
one where I stop on this one. Yeah, and it creates a stud, dude. That's insane. I'm killing you with just spirits, buddy. But all right, let's do a little combo to finish him off. Let's freeze and hit him with this move. And then we should be able to hit him with that move right after that. And there we go. We now have the final move unlocked. Yes! All right, but now that I have every single move unlocked for the spirit fruit, I'm going to test out this final move on one of the goobers. Which, by the way, if you want to be in a video like this one, make sure to join the Discord. The link is discord.gg slash goobers. But all right, let's see what this final move does. Actually, hold on. I need to check the wiki and see what it says. Oh my gosh, wait. It's both. The user commands both angel buddy and demon buddy to shoot a beam of ice and a beam of fire towards their cursor. Stunning enemies. The two beams will merge, creating a large ice explosion that shakes the user screed and stuns them oh my gosh we've unlocked our z move we've unlocked our x move we've unlocked our c move and we've also unlocked our spirits and our flying move but now it's finally time to use our final move all right here we go the end of times our final move bro look at that <laughs> No, that's actually crazy. Yo, thank you, Goober, for letting me uh, use you as my dubby. But boys, if you want to see me unlock even more fruits, like the gravity or the shadow fruit, hit subscribe. We just hit 50,000 subscribers on this channel, and I'm going to try to unlock every single item in Roblox Blocks Fruits. But I'll see you boys in the next video.